When installing the pump drive gear, first make sure the camshaft gear single mark is aligned with the pointer. The camshaft gear is behind the case with only the edge sticking out. There are two marks on the one end of the camshaft gear and a single mark on the other end. Align the single mark with the pointer. Then install the pump drive gear with the single mark aligned with the pointer. The gear marks will align at top dead center. You can confirm top dead center by making sure both valves are closed on cylinder 1. Here is a look at the case service manual. There are two diagrams of the timing cover with the integral water pump and two diagrams of a water pump separate from the timing gear cover. The instructions for aligning the pump drive gear are the same for both the integral water pump timing cover and the separate water pump timing cover. Apply grease to the pump drive shaft. Notice the slot at the back of the pump. Gently install the pump drive shaft. Run a finger around the pump drive shaft seal to make sure it is seated completely in the pump body. Apply light pressure while wiggling the pump drive shaft in a circular motion. Once the pump drive shaft is in, rotate the shaft until seated in the slot. Install the pump. You can save some trouble by aligning the keyway on the pump drive shaft with the pump drive gear keyway.
Turn the engine over slowly by hand to 8 degrees above the top dead center mark. Remove the plate on the side of the injection pump. The two timing marks in the injection pump should align. If they do not, then remove the pump drive shaft and rotate the pump drive shaft 180 degrees. Torque 35 to 40 foot-pounds.